Hey there, this is Lynn Allen. Welcome to another AutoCAD tip courtesy of Catalyst Magazine. Don't know where you are in the world, but it's pretty chilly where I am in Portland, Oregon. Um, hope you're staying warm. You know, you might be lucky and be somewhere in the world where you actually are warm. <laughs> Happy holidays to all of you. And uh, today I'm going to share with you a tip that has to do with PDF files. More importantly, converting them to AutoCAD objects, which I know is very, very popular with people. Because when I do presentations, the crowd goes wild. Oh yeah. All right, so for years, if we had a PDF file from somebody that we needed to convert to AutoCAD objects, we would bring it in as an underlay. This is actually an underlay that I have on my screen. And then we would tediously trace on top of it, or we would just draw it from scratch. And it was a pain. It was easier to trace on top of it, let's face it. And over the last few years, we've been able to snap to PDF files, so that was a good improvement. Still, however, a pain. So with the last couple of releases of AutoCAD, we've had the ability to actually bring PDF files in and convert them to AutoCAD objects. Hello, wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. So today, I'm gonna to show you how to convert a PDF underlay to AutoCAD objects, okay? It's easy, piece of cake, you're gonna love it. All right, so as I mentioned, this happens to be a PDF underlay. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna click on it and you will see that the tab on the ribbon automatically changed to say PDF underlay. So now you know I'm not lying to you. <laughs> That's why we love the ribbon, because it changes automatically based on what I select on the screen, which is a beautiful thing. So hopefully you are using the ribbon. All right, so I'm gonna turn off a few layers first just to make this a little more simple, just to make it more obvious what's going on. Let's. Um, Let's turn off everything except for column. You don't have to. I'm just gonna do it to simplify this. All right, now, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to say that I want to very simply import as objects. Makes sense? I can pick the whole thing. I'm just gonna pick one view. Once again, just keep it simple. I'm gonna pick one view. You can see there's even an option that says all. And then when I do so, you will see that there are a few options down at the command line. Do I want to keep the underlay as well, or do I want to detach it or unload it all together? So like it never happened. <laughs> you can choose what you want. I'm going to go ahead and unload it. It never happened. And you will see that it only took the objects that I selected and converted them to AutoCAD objects. Let's see what happened, actually. If I move my cursor on top of this, you'll see that it's a polyline. It, did, it didn't just convert it to lines. It wasn't lazy and just converted it to lines. It converted it to a polyline. Look at that. You'll see that it did the best it could in here. You'll see that there are, check a look at this. That's a polyline. What is this here? It's a polyline and a poly arc on there. So it's not even a regular arc. It tries to join as much as possible which makes me very, very happy. And I'll actually go into more detail on this later on, maybe in the next tip. And here we've got a circle, of course. Now this is not, these are not, you know, center lines. I didn't do that, not the new center line, center marks, right? It, was, it didn't do that, these are not center marks, so unfortunately we're not quite there yet. I'm sure it will be someday, but nevertheless, hello, how much easier is that than tracing on top of that underlay or, heaven forbid, drawing from scratch, which we never wanna do, right? So try converting your PDF underlays to AutoCAD objects. It's gonna save you lots of time, and it is oh so easy. All right, check it out. Have a great holiday season. Ho, ho, ho.